plus plus 76 into 9.37 plus 77 into 7.63 plus 78 into 23.77 plus 80 into 49.61 plus the last one 82 into 8 to 8.73 so we have added all the isotopes multiplied with the percentage abundances and all of this will be over 100 because all the percentages add up to 100 so when I do this on my calculator fast forwarding to the answer you can pause the video and calculate on your own but when I do this on my calculator I get 79.04 which is uh, so it says that give the answer to two decimal places I have given it to two decimal places so we are good there so I get my answer as 79.04 and uh, the, they want me to tell them the identity of x which element x is so I look at my periodic table I look at my periodic table and uh, uh, the, the element which has an atomic relative atomic mass of 79.0 is selenium. So I just write selenium or SE over here. I'll write the full name but you can just write SE, selenium. You will not be penalized. In fact, I think they would prefer if you write the chemical symbol. So we found that this element which has six isotopes and these uh, with these isotopic masses and their respective relative abundances when we calculated the relative atomic mass it was selenium it turned out to be selenium so uh, now let's move forward so we are going to do mole calculations and I told you uh, that we will get to know how this is done so, so we are starting with mole calculations involving mass now uh, I've repeated the definition of the mole so it is a measure of the amount of substance you do not have to write uh, you don't necessarily have to write that it is a measure of amount of substance I mean if you write they don't really care but you, what you need to write is that one mole of a substance is the amount that contains the same number of specific particles as the number of atoms in 12 grams of carbon 12 so now uh, we mole mole is denoted by n so let me first write the full name so one mole of uh, an element is equal to the mass of that uh, so so basically the amount of moles of an element is equal to the mass of an el of the element that is given in the sample upon the relative atomic mass of the element so in this case in 12 grams of carbon 12 the mass that is given to us is 12 that means we have 12 grams in the sample and the AR of carbon 12 is 12 so we get 1 so this means that 12 grams of carbon 12 is 1 mole and as I said 1 mole contains 6.023 into 10 to the power of 23 atoms or molecules or ions given the situation so this is what one mole contains and now if you read the definition of the mole it will be more clear to you. One mole of a substance is the amount that contains the same number of specific particles which can be atoms, molecules or ions as the number of atoms in 12 grams of carbon 12. So 12 grams of carbon 12 is one mole of carbon 12 and it is uh, one mole of carbon 12 has 6.023 into 10 to power 23 atoms of carbon 12 uh, of carbon 12 so this is basically it the one mole of a molecule is basically the mass of the molecule that is given to us that means if we have for example we can we can have any grams that is given any amount of mass that is given in the laboratory 
So this the, the small m is the mass that has been given to us, which means that the mass that has been provided in